Hello and welcome to Prudent News. Now a look at the headlines. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar supports Modi, says ignore Narendra Modi's past. Modi was a novice then. Criticizes Oh My God movie. Sri Sri speaks to Prudent exclusively. Goa on alert. Intelligence input warns of LET attack on coastal belt. Captain of ports alerts go on fishermen. DIG Mishra confirms the threat. Entire ward without proper drinking water supply. Madkai Karwada at Belge village has no tap connections and roads. Prudent special report. Atrocities on jail inmate at Agwada jail. Sessions judge fails to meet the deadline of 19th June set by High Court. Such incidents are alarming, says High Court. And Dempo Sports Club infrastructure plans hinge on review of regional plan. Srinivas Dempo optimistic about a breakthrough in a couple of months but reduces club's budget. Now the news in detail. Ignore the past of Narendra Modi. 2002 is history. Modi was politically novice then. Spiritual Guru Sri Sri Ravi Shankar has defended Gujarat CM and campaign chief of the BJP in a candid interview with Prudent. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar has objected to the Oh My God movie. Ravi Shankar does not agree with the thought as well as the projection of spiritual gurus in the movie. If you take a political scenario in the country, there are certain politicians who are controversial because of their past. When you talk to the electorate, for example, would you advise them to let ignore their past and just look at their present and focus upon them? Definitely. Including definitely. Narendra Modi? Definitely. Hmm. Definitely. Hmm. Definitely. We have to let go of the past. Hmm. Certainly. So, and then we have to move on the present. Dekhi, 2002 में जो हुआ उस बात को लेके अभी तक जूझते रहना मुझे तो उचित नहीं लगता ठीक है वो नए नए सीएम बने उनको अभी पूरा ग्रिप नहीं उनकी वाणी से कह रहे हैं मेरे को इतना ग्रिप नहीं था दो तीन महीने में ऐसे हादसा हो गया वी ओ माय गॉड एंड यू बिकेम लिटिल बिट अपसेट विद द मूवी व्हाट वाज द रीजन दे पुट ऑल द धार्मिक सिंबल्स इनटू वन बास्केट मैंने पूजा ना करो कोई सिंबल भी ना रखो मंदिर ना जाओ सत्संग ना करो सारे साधु संत महात्मा ये सब ऐसे ही बेकार हैं इस तरह से एक इमेज क्रिएट कर दिया और यंग माइंड्स पे फिल्म का बड़ा प्रभाव होता है तो आपको आपत्ति किससे थी आपत्ति इसीलिए प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल गुरुज धर्म गुरुज Yeah, the thought that the movie propagates. No, all this in the the total impact of it to tell children or to yeah, tell youngsters mm. that all this is a sort of dong. ये सब गलत है सब ढोंग है ढोंग ही तो आध्यात्मिक क्षेत्र में भी है बहुत है मगर ऐसा ये कैडिया दे दोगे तो साप के सब ढोंग ही है वो नुकसान करेगा Goa has been put on alert following intelligence inputs about a possible terror attack on the coastal state by Lashkari Taiba. The captain of ports has asked the fishing community to be on alert. DIG OP Mishra confirmed to Prudent that the state police was on full alert after receiving the intelligence input. Goa has been put on alert on Wednesday following intelligence inputs about a possible terror attack on the coastal state by Lashkari Taiba. Refusing to comment on camera, DIG Om Prakash Mishra said that after receiving the intelligence input, state police is on full alert. Mishra also said that matter is sensitive in nature, hence the details cannot be shared with the media. Chief Minister Manohar Parikar, while confirming the alert with PTI, said it was of a general nature. The alert is not particularly for Goa. It is of a general nature. Meanwhile PTI news report says the captain of ports has asked the fishing community to be alert.
The communication circulated to the fishing community reads that there is possibility of LET attack on the west coast of India. Besides the fishing vessels, which are currently onshore due to the ongoing fishing ban, the offshore casinos anchored in Mandavi River are also put on alert. Reporter Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. No water supply, no roads. Yes, it's happening right here in Goa. In Sankale Vilge village, people at Markai Karwada are far away from basic amenities like drinking water. Although this village features on Goa's map, government has failed to address woes of Dangar community in the village. The villagers are awaiting government's attention for the last many years. Uday Parab reports. This is Belge village in Sakri with a population of almost 250 to 300 people. Have a look. They are far away from basic amenities like drinking water. Water supply pipelines are laid but the job is half done. Some of the families have wells as the only source of water. However, there are few Dhangar families who fetch the water in this way. The ponds, not even the wells. They use it for all purposes, for cooking and even for drinking. Moreover, have a look. One has to try all stunts to reach to this village. People find it difficult to manage their day-to-day -day routine. Neither a pakka nor a proper kacha road. I am going to to Parivartan government boasts about 24 hour water supply in couple of years. Forget about 24 hours, this family have not seen a drop of their water. Government boasts of reservation for Dhangar community in schools, welfare schemes and jobs. But what would it mean for people at Markai Karwada who are starving for basic amenities? Uday Parab for prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.